What's up everybody? I hope y'all are all having an awesome day. I'm Anthony. On today's video, we're going to do another honest review. This time on the Freeman plate carrier system by AR500. That's right, today we're going to be doing another honest review. And just like all of my other honest reviews, this product was not given to me. There was no coupon codes. I'm not being reimbursed. As a matter of fact, the company doesn't even know I'm doing this. This is just some guy on YouTube buying a product with his own hard-earned money and telling you the things I like and don't like about it. So with that being said, today's product is the Freeman plate carrier system from AR500. I'm sure a lot of y'all know about AR500, Armor Republic 500, because they make steel body armor plates they also make ceramic ones and they're pretty much one of the higher known names in the body armor game so it's one of those things where i constantly go on the website if i'm looking for armor or looking for plates something to shoot at uh so i can potentially get some good deals because they always seem to run really good deals and one of those deals i happen to find right around black friday christmas time was this deal right here now i've been looking for a system to put in my vehicle uh because i got tired of bringing my larger plate carrier in there and having to take it in and out all the time to make room in my back seat i drive a truck so it's not like i have a lot of room anyway so i wanted a system that i could leave in there and not feel bad about it so that's what brought me to this just like all my honest reviews I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I mention five pros and five cons so you can make your own decision if you actually want to buy this product I'm just gonna tell you the things that I like and the things that I don't like all right so number one the number one pro of this system is the whole reason why I bought it it's very lightweight when I say lightweight I'm talking about the only thing that's actually weighing it down is the weight of the plates themselves and the whole thing itself the whole system only weighs ten and a half pounds okay so the number two pro is the fact that these come with level three plus plates they are called the a2 plates in the ar500 system but the level three plus is a standard that most people know so it is going to be effective against all pistol rounds and most rifle rounds i say most rifle rounds i'm talking about anything under 3,000 feet per second so the number three pro is the fact that it is very adjustable okay for a tiny plate carrier the best thing you're going to want to have is have a maximum adjustability to make sure you're covering that very important zone now if you've never worn body armor before or plate carriers before the most main important part of your body that you're going to want to cover is this little zone right here okay where your heart lies because your heart is one of those if you actually get stabbed or shot in it uh you're not going to survive very long if you've ever hunted an animal and you've done a heart shot they do not make it very far if you've ever been in war and combat you see that if someone's ever been shot in this zone without any kind of body armor they go down very very quick so if you have the ability to get a body armor plate carrier whatever to protect that zone congratulations you have a much better chance of surviving some form of encounter and the fact that this thing is super adjustable as you see right here it's got the velcro and actually the straps are very long so you can honestly adjust this a, a lot farther down for our bigger folks I'm 6'4 250 pounds I'm almost actually max this bad boy to the the raised zone because I'm not one of those people who likes to carry my plate carriers down low like some people do. I actually put mine in the area it's supposed to be so I uh, bring it up really high and over here on the side you see how it's got the adjustment so you can actually stretch it out if you happen to be wearing more clothes or you're just a bigger person then you can adjust it out a lot more and you can still i still have plenty of room to where i can adjust it in for the skinnier folks all right number four this is a very small system i mean that small so as you can see it's really nine by nine we'll just go ahead and round up to a foot by a foot if you tuck these straps down like this that is literally all the room it's taking up so when i put this in my vehicle because i do in my, in my truck underneath my back seat this takes up no space at all so i love it i can literally leave it in there and i don't have to worry about it because it takes up zero space and my number five i probably should have led with this one for some of y'all but my number five reason for buying this and i'm happy with and my pros is going to be it is not expensive it's very inexpensive in comparison to other body armor what i say by that i mean like this doesn't cost a thousand dollars this doesn't cost five hundred dollars this actually costs less than two hundred dollars and depending on the time you buy it can be actually less than 150 dollars i bought like i said during December Christmas time so they have really good deals in their little bundles and I was able to get this out the door for $133 shipped don't believe me here's the receipt
So the fact that I only paid $133 for this, and as a matter of fact, I looked today, the deal is like $161. I don't know about shipping and stuff like that, but it's $161 for this deal as of right now. If you buy that and someone happens to break into your vehicle or take this and steals it, I'm not out five, six, seven hundred dollars like it would be with my regular body armor. I'm only out $133. So yeah, it would still suck if someone broke into my stuff and stole my stuff, but at least I'm not out, you know upwards of $1,000. I'm only out $133. So the fact that it's very cost effective is a plus. That's why I had to mention it in the pros. Now on to everybody's favorite section, the cons list. Okay, some of these are pretty, you know, hey, this is a big issue. And some of these are like, all right, that's kind of stupid, but I have to, you know, fill out five of these. So I might be stretching a few of them. So let's go ahead and get started with number one, the most important, the one that actually kind of affected me if I was actually going to be buying this because I bought it and I was really not wanting to buy it because of this problem but it only comes in two colors i know that sounds kind of stupid but in reality it only comes in coyote this color right here is like a light brown and black all right so the main reasons why i didn't like that is the fact that coyote is what we usually use when we are deploying to the desert you know afghanistan iraq that kind of thing so it blends in pretty well with those buildings and the sand and all that stuff well i live in green south carolina so i'm not blending in with anything with coyote so it's like all right whatever a lot of people like to wear black but in my personal opinion i didn't want to buy the black because I don't want to be mistaken for police, all right? If, God forbid, I have to don this thing and wear it during a situation, then there's probably going to be panic setting in a lot of things. And if I have to wear this and I'm moving my family through whatever situation, I don't want people thinking that I'm law enforcement and trying to come to me for help, all right? I don't want to be mistaken for law enforcement because I'm not, and I'm not trying to pretend to be. So the fact that black is usually donned by law enforcement means that I want to relegate that to them so they can be the identity of like, hey, they're here to help you, that kind of stuff. Uh, since since I am not law enforcement, I don't want to try to look like it. Uh, I know they have police written on theirs and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that they don, but I don't want to be mistaken for it. So that's why I stuck with something else besides black, unfortunately. There's only one color and that is coyote. Now on to number two. You see this size right here? This is a nine by nine plate. It's octagonal, however they, oct octagonal, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this is the size that they recommend for this because it comes with the, the package, okay? The downside is most plate carriers carry a 10 by 12 plate. If you happen to be a bigger person, you'll get 11 by 14. I'm six foot four, 250, and I have never had to wear an 11 by 14 plate. So I have quite a few of the 10 by 12 plates. Well, guess what? This is a nine by nine plate. So it is proprietary to this system only. So if you want to buy this system and buy only the plate carrier, that's fine. You got to buy specific plates for it. So the fact that it only has one set of plates to get means that you have only one option to buy those plates. And that's directly from them, AR500 themselves. So you can't go to Spartan or whoever else to buy your body armor. You have to directly buy the plates from the one company. So it's kind of annoying, but it's a proprietary system. So that's what you get. If you're like an Apple fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have one place to buy your stuff because it's the only place that has the ability to produce stuff for your phone. Same principle here. You can only buy one set of plates because it's only one person that makes them because it fits this one size nine by nine. Now another con of mine, number three, is going to be it's not really built for all day, everyday use, which is fine. I mean, that's the whole reason why, you know, you have better systems out there. So you don't have to wear something like this all day, every day. But if you are one of those people who has zero body armor and you buy this to fit your vehicle so you can at least have something, if you want to wear this every day, all day, it's going to be kind of uncomfortable. For the fact of the matter is, I bought this back in December and I've used it quite a few times because I don't like recommending things on my channel that I've never used. I'm not going to buy something, let it sit in a box for however many weeks or months and all of a sudden put it on my channel like I've been wearing it for how long. I don't do that. I don't like doing that. So for the most part, during the winter time when I was doing my burning, doing my scouting, doing a lot of mushroom hunts, I would put this thing on just to see how it felt after wearing it for hours of use. And in about two, three hour mark, this right here, it's not very, it's not padded at all. It starts to kind of wear in, dig into your traps. So if you have any kind of traps or musculature, it kind of digs into it and it gets almost a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah, it's only 10 and a half pounds, really not that much weight. But after so many hours of use, you definitely start to feel that lack of padding. So it's not meant for that. It's, I didn't buy it for that reason, but I know some people might. So I have to make sure I mention that in the cons list because if you want to try to use this as your all day, everyday body armor in a situation, you might want to upgrade to something a little bit better padded. Okay, so the number four con is pretty simple, but 
when you wear body armor, you're probably going to have a rifle or pistol with you, and you are going to most likely want to have some kind of reload. Well, this is like the PAL system, so where you can put ammo pouches on here if you want to. And the design is, is similar to where you can put, you know, your molly capable stuff. The problem with this is there's no reinforcements here, okay? I don't see any kind of reinforcement and unfortunately this doesn't seem like, I mean, it's very thin material and I, I don't want to come across as being like, you know, oh, you're kind of making a mountain out of a molehill kind of thing. But if you are in a situation where you happen to wear this and you do have ammo pouches and you're kind of running around and you're probably bumping into things, I don't see the ability to, of this to survive that kind of wear and tear. Not to mention if you are ripping using probably a little bit of adrenaline with it, I don't see these lasting a very long time. I really don't, unfortunately. So uh, the fact that there's no reinforcements here, that's why it adds me to the, the cons list. I just don't see this stuff lasting. I, I see it tearing more than anything and that brings me to my fifth and final con this is one of those ones that i was telling you about earlier where i'm kind of stretching a problem to make it seem a little bit worse just to fill that five cons list well this is one of those um, if you put this in your under your back seat like i do like inside your the cab of your truck uh, the problem that i realized because i live on a dirt road the problem i realized with this is you have a sound associated so you're gonna hear that sound while you're driving your dirt road twice a day four times a day however many times you go leave to your from your house or if you happen to have this when you're saying going hunting on public land those dirt roads are not very good and as a matter of fact most of South Carolina has just really crappy roads because there's potholes everywhere so every time you hit some sort of you know I don't say a major bump just like a mediocre bump you're gonna hear these bad boys clanging together so uh my solution was to put a sweatshirt in between them so it dampens that you don't hear it but that first like couple days i was starting to get very annoyed because i'm driving in the middle of driving and the constant sound started to just kind of wear at me to the point where i was like i gotta put something in between it because it's driving me crazy so uh there's since there's no padding on it since it's that basic of a system you will hear that sound so keep in mind if you do put it in your vehicle either strap them really tight together so they don't move at all but they're a curve system so they're probably still going to rock uh or put do like i do and put a sweatshirt in between them so you don't hear that sound Alrighty, so that is my list of five pros and five cons of the ar500 freeman plate carrier system now the, the grand question, would I buy this again? I know some of the cons that I may have you know, said kind of sound kind of bigger. They're minor problems and a lot in the grand scheme of things. So yes, I absolutely 100% would buy this again. Again, the company is not paying me to say this stuff. They don't even know I'm doing this review. If they see it, which I doubt they will, but if they do, they'll probably be just as surprised as everybody else watching this video. So uh, they're definitely not, you know, paying me to say this kind of stuff i would absolutely buy it again for the sole purpose that it is very lightweight and the fact that it is cheap okay it is not expensive at all i showed you my receipt i, I paid 133 dollars shipped to me okay they have a, a sale right now i checked this morning as of april 18th happy birthday mom yeah, i checked this morning and it is 161 dollars and you get two trauma plates with those two plates. So that is one heck of a deal. And I absolutely think that if you wanted to get a good quality system for under $200 that you could wear just in case you needed to, if you don't have any system at all, this would be a good system for you. So uh, that's why I, I, I like this. I would definitely recommend buying it. And the number one thing I did not mention that I probably should have mentioned in the pros, but I, it doesn't apply to everybody, is the fact that this is going to be perfect. This system right here would be perfect for kids, okay? I have a three-year-old, so obviously she's not gonna wear this, but if you have like a six, seven, eight, 10-year-old and they don't have a very big body, this is going to be a perfect system for them because it's a nine by nine plate and it's very adjustable and it does not weigh much, okay? Anybody, it's as heavy as their book bag is gonna be, okay? It's as, it might be lighter than their book bag. So a 10 and a half pound plate carrier for your kid would be amazing. That's why I wanted to make sure I mentioned this so uh, before I end the video. So I definitely would say if I had to buy this again, I absolutely would. And I recommend if you're looking for a cheaper system, especially one to fit your vehicle, you look into this system right here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. If you learned anything at all from this video, please do me a humongous favor and give this one a thumbs up. I very much would appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you are not, and I will catch y'all on the next one. All right, bye.